Time magazine chose a very interesting cover for their November issue, and it involves a storm that we have become very familiar with over the past few years. What was probably most memorable was President Trump's reference to the storm back in October of 2017, shortly after the Revelation 12 sign occurred in the heavens. Do you guys know what this represents? What? Tell us, sir. Um, maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the storm? Could be the calm. The calm before the storm. What storm is We have the world's great military people in this room, I will tell you that. And uh, we're going to have a great evening. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. What storm, Mr. President? You'll find out. What storm, Mr. President? You'll find out. This storm also featured on the cover of The Economist magazine for the same year and is shown to us here and here. And predictive programming in the media often refers to the storm that is coming. The fact that the title of this edition of Time magazine is Last Call is in my opinion telling us that no more warnings will follow and even though our enemy has warned the masses about what is about to happen, most are comfortably unaware of what is coming. What I've been looking at over the past five years is the timing at which this storm will hit the world, and even though it may feel like we are already being tossed around in a hurricane, I believe God's word shows us that it will become much worse once he removes the restrainer. As you may or may not know, I have often looked at possible applications of dates that are shown to us by our enemy as part of the predictive programming agenda, and that most of this agenda has to do with a plan that was laid out by Albert Pike in 1871, where he described how those who ruled this world from behind the scenes would conduct three world wars before the Antichrist would step onto the scene to become the savior of humanity. From what Albert Pike said in his letter to his colleague Mazzini, and from what we see happening in the world around us right now, it should be clear to those with eyes to see that we are well into the third act of this plan. Let me read to you once again what he said. The Third World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the agentur of the Illuminati between the political Zionists and the leaders of the Islamic world. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam and political Zionism mutually destroy each other. Meanwhile, the other nations, once more divided on this issue, will be constrained to fight to the point of complete physical, moral, spiritual and economical exhaustion. We shall unleash the nihilists and the atheists and we shall provoke a formidable social cataclysm, which in all its horror will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism, origin of savagery and of the most bloody turmoil. Then everywhere, the citizens, obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries, will exterminate those destroyers of civilization, and the multitude, disillusioned with Christianity, whose deistic spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction, anxious for an ideal but without knowing where to render its adoration, will receive the true light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer, brought finally out in the public view. This manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement which will follow the destruction of Christianity and atheism, both conquered and exterminated at the same time. Would you not agree that the world currently finds itself in a deteriorating social cataclysm that has never been seen before and where ordinary people have been fighting physical, moral, spiritual and economic exhaustion over the past two years while losing most of their freedoms in the process? I've also shown how the globalists have portrayed certain aspects of this plan through predictive programming, with which they present their plans to the masses of this world with most not realizing what it is that they are looking at. For instance, if we look at the following passage, we see four aspects that are described to us appearing on the cover of The Economist magazine for the world in 2017. Please consider what is shown in the images as I read this passage again. Then everywhere the citizens obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries will exterminate those destroyers of civilization and the multitude disillusioned with Christianity, whose deistic spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction, anxious for an ideal but without knowing where to render its adoration, will receive the true light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer, brought finally out in the public view. 
This manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement which will follow the destruction of Christianity and atheism, both conquered and exterminated at the same time. I know many do not appreciate the fact that I point out what is shown in these images since they appear on tarot cards, and I would never suggest consulting tarot cards for any reason whatsoever. But when this plan is so blatantly shown to us in picture form, and when it aligns perfectly with what Albert Pike wrote in his letter, then 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11 obviously applies. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. If we are not keeping an eye on our enemy, and if we do not know our enemy and his devices, then we are at a disadvantage, and could we step into one of his traps? And I have seen many of God's people being deceived by Satan over the past two years, because they simply did not pay attention to those things that God's word warned us about regarding our enemy, and how he deceives those who receives his mark. The cover of Time magazine once again shows us a storm, with winter being shown to the left, and the world burning up to the right, and becoming darker in the background. It is also interesting that Biden has referred to a dark winter in a number of his speeches, and I will come back to this, as this would seem to be another clue pointing to the timing of specific events. The IPK2 animation that was released in 2012 also showed us several instances of what is now happening around us in the world, especially in this scene where the media would seem to be behind the fear that caused the world population, shown without a brain and without the ability to think for itself, to submit to medical mandates. There are also several hints to heavenly signs that would seem to mark specific events in this animation, and I would like to show you today how those signs may find the best match we have seen thus far in November and December of 2021. So keep watching until the end because this will just blow your mind. So when it comes to heavenly signs, there are very interesting ones occurring in November and December that would seem to match perfectly what is shown to us by our enemy through these predictive programming tools. If we see matching events on dates marked by these signs, then we know that we have discovered the correct timing of our enemy's plan, and could we also expect other events that are shown to follow on dates marked by heavenly signs. On the 18th of November, the longest lunar eclipse for this century will occur, and this is then quite a significant heavenly marker, and since we are shown a lunar eclipse in this scene from the iPetco 2 animation, it would be prudent to keep an eye on world events that may transpire from this day going forward, especially concerning the planned war between Islam and the political Zionists, as described to us by Albert Pike. If something in this regard becomes evident around the 18th or the 19th of November, then we know that the rest of what is shown to us with matching signs on specific dates could also be expected to follow. In the past I have looked at other matching possibilities, but none of them matched what we are seeing right now with such accuracy and such clarity, and that is what I would like to show you today. We have the planet Mercury passing the Sun between November 28th and 29th, and this possibly being represented by this scene from the iPetco 2 animation, where we see what would look like a representation of the reflection of the Sun with a small dot in it moving across it. At this time we see someone that would seem to match the description of Angelina Jolie, trying to mediate, to prevent a war starting or to end a war, but seemingly interrupted by death and not being successful in her endeavors as darkness descends over the earth. There is another scene from this animation where darkness descends, and that occurs in this scene where Lily sits in a symbol that is used several times in this animation, representing a solar eclipse with another heavenly body in conjunction with this eclipse. An eclipse causes darkness over the earth, and this could very well be the date on which darkness descends over the earth. It just so happens that such an eclipse occurs on December 4th, with Mercury in conjunction with the Sun when it is eclipsed. And this is not where these matching aspects end. At the end of the iPetco 2 animation, the Antichrist figure stares at the Sun setting in the southwest in the constellation of Scorpio. And in 2021, this day just happens to be marked by this very rare solar eclipse that can be seen from the South Pole, having Mercury in conjunction at that time. Now this solar eclipse with a planet in conjunction has been shown to us in several instances in the iPetco 2 animation, and it would seem to be the date for which our enemy has been preparing for for many centuries, 
possibly marking the date on which the Antichrist's rule over the world will begin. Going back to the cover of The Economist magazine for the world in 2017, in this, another date is clearly marked in the sky above the protesting people, and that would be November 29th, where a waning moon would be at the tail of the constellation Leo, and only a quarter full, exactly as shown to us in this image. What is interesting about this image is that it shows us the masses protesting, with the light of Lucifer ready to be revealed to them, just as explained in Albert Pike's letter. This would then represent the reactionary movement that he referred to that would come about once civilization has already been destroyed. It also shows that the European Union at this point in time apparently no longer exists, which would beg the question, what could cause the demise of the EU between now and the end of November? Could it be that this image would play out before November 29th, where the masses will stand up and act against the governments that will be responsible for the sudden destruction of civilization? To have the EU removed from existence would require a significant global cataclysm, and I believe God's word tells us about the sudden destruction that will engulf the world when they say peace and safety, which is another important aspect to watch for over the coming days especially if hints of war between Islam and the political Zionists are detected around the 18th of November. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Coming back to the November issue of Time magazine, Biden would seem to be at the center of this image, with people and things disappearing in darkness or going up in flames behind him. It is then interesting to consider that Biden mentioned the phrase a dark winter in several speeches that he made over the past two years. Don't worry, we're going to end this by the summer. We're about to go into a dark winter, a dark winter. And so uh, there's a need for bold action to fight this pandemic. We're still facing a very dark winter. It's a snapshot, I might remind you, up to mid-November, as we head into a very dark winter ahead. Could this be another clue by our enemy telling us about what he is shortly going to do? In 2001, a bioterrorist attack simulation was conducted by none other than the Johns Hopkins Center for Civilian Biodefense Strategies. And this simulation was carried out on dates that we have seen before. The simulation ran from June 22nd to June 23rd in 2001 and was codenamed Operation Dark Winter. Recently, I also showed you how a slideshow codenamed Project Blackjack appeared in the Telegraph newspaper in the UK and showed a similar situation back in 2008 in which several cities in the world were targeted by terrorists and where nuclear devices were then detonated, destroying several important cities around the world while also destroying the economy. What is interesting is that these operations occurred on the exact same dates. It just had a different year. So it would seem that there is something to be gleaned from these dates on which these terrorist attack simulations are said to be carried out. This, of course, is not the only simulation we recently heard of, because we currently find ourselves in one that is ongoing. Event 201, another Johns Hopkins initiative, basically brought about the situation that the world currently finds itself in. When you go to their page on Wikipedia, you can find both these simulations listed there. We are also pointed to these simulations on several covers of The Economist magazine, where we see virtual reality headsets featuring as part of the display. A virtual reality is in fact a lie, because it is not real, and we all know who the father of the lie is. Satan's intent is to use a lie to deceive the people of God. And what better way to do it than to use technology with a term such as virtual reality to accomplish that task? One aspect that may help us to interpret the June 22nd to 23rd dates that are associated with both of these terrorist attack simulations would be this passage from Isaiah 29. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. 
For shall the work say of him that made it, He made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, He had no understanding? When we look at this date in numerals, we would write it as follows. Both 6 and 3 can be turned upside down while still providing sensible information, and these dates would then become 922 and 923. 923 is a number that has so many references in the media that it is hard to miss. I have put together a compilation of some examples in this video if you have not seen it yet. So although we may have associated these dates with September, because it is the ninth month, there is also a case in which we can associate these numbers with the month of November. The meaning of the name of the month November is in fact 9. And if we applied this understanding to the month of September, then it would have been 723. So if the 9 represents the meaning of the name of the month, could it be that those who plan to destroy civilization, as described to us by Albert Pike, could act on November 22nd to 23rd? We know that the purpose of this great destruction will in part be to obfuscate the disappearance of millions of people from the world, and that our enemy can only act once our Heavenly Father removes his hand of protection, and that this would also point to the possible dates on which our Heavenly Father will remove those that belong to him from this world. I am of the opinion he showed this destruction occurring right at the time when he removes his people to this brother in Christ. I'm only showing you a snippet and you are welcome to watch the entire testimony provided in a link in the description below. And I said, is this you, Jesus? And he said, yes. And then he opened his, but it, like, oh, I don't even know how to put it. It was like a silhouette, arms out like this, and arm, <laughs> arms out were, were like this in the sky, right? And then he went like this, put his hands down. And you could see through the hands. You could see through the hands. You know, the, cru the crucifixion, the nails. You could see through the hands. And then it scared me even more, okay? Don't ask me why it scared me. I, th I think it was the fear of the Lord and His glory and all that. But then I went back down. Okay, I, this happened again. I went back down. And then as I was on the aerator and I went through a fence. I don't even remember going through... The, the gate to get to the fence. Everything was on autopilot while I was up there. It's the strangest thing. I swear to you guys, I do not know how. Okay, so then, whoop, suck back up. Here I am. Here's the atmosphere, okay? And here's me on the aerator down here. Don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. See the silhouette of the man? Shows me the hands. And I said, this is you, Jesus. And he says, yes. And I said, okay. And then, I mean, I'm surrounded by the believers. I don't see them, but I feel them, okay? And now, I, he said, he said, look down. And I looked down, and all I could see was fire. So then, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, is this... Is this the rapture? And I didn't get an answer. I said, are you saying when we get caught up, destruction comes down? Didn't get an answer. And I'm looking down, I'm looking up. And he's not there. So I'm looking down, looking up. And I, I, I don't even know at this point. All I remember is just focusing and I said, Jesus, are you telling me, and I repeated it, are you telling me that when we get raptured, sudden destruction is going to come down immediately? And he said, yes. And then he said, listen. So I listened, and there was screaming, there was crying, there was laughter, there was, the screaming was weeping, guys. Like, t like the craziest stuff was happening down here when we were up there. And uh, it was terrifying. I look down and it's just straight orange. There's no blue. There's no green. There's no colors. There's no mountains. It's just red. And I, so I said, so you're telling me that when we get raptured, when we, when you take us, when you receive us, there's going to be destruction. It's going to be like this. And he said, yes.
It just so happens that the iPetco 2 animation would also seem to be pointing at this date when we see the bruised child rising from the dead, clothed in robes of righteousness and ascending into heaven. Please consider the following two passages from God's word referring to this event. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. You will notice that the moon is almost full in this scene. And this is exactly what the moon will look like on November 23rd of 2021. I also want to remind you of the dreams that were given to Pastor Dana Coverstone last year, in which he saw specific events associated with calendar months. I will once again play a small section of this dream that I believe relates to the month that we currently find ourselves in. And then I saw October come up, and then I saw November, and this is when it got real to me in the dream. I think the intensity, uh, according to my Fitbit, when I woke up, my heart rate was about 180. So that was Monday night. It was also a night that I woke up not feeling very well at all. I was up during the night, not feeling well. But anyway, the minute the finger underlined November three times, instead of tapping it, I saw a fist ball up and it hit the calendar. And literally, the calendar exploded into the wall. The numbers seemed like they were 3D and they were falling, they were just flying everywhere. And there was a cloud of chaos that started. And then the next thing I saw was I saw, I saw armed protesters. I saw fighting in the streets. I saw people pummeling one another. I saw businesses shuttered and shut up. I saw, I saw schools closed. I saw schoolrooms with cobwebs hanging in them and like things like papers falling off the wall and posters falling like no one had been in them for months. I saw banks bank buildings with the roofs being taken off. And it looked almost like alien abduction because money was just flying through the roof into some type of like a vacuum cleaner. I know it sounds kind of strange, but I was watching wealth just being taken. I saw politicians in back rooms uh, making deals with people, pat, you know, patting people on the back and, and laughing and smiling and smirking. And I saw monuments. I saw, I saw Washington, D.C. burning. I saw Washington, D.C. blazing. I saw fires everywhere. I saw people being rounded up. I saw Chinese and Russian soldiers on the ground. And Russian soldiers were telling the Chinese soldiers to go and pick up these people, round up these people, secure this quadrant, secure this area. I saw blue helmets of the U.N. I saw military things taking place. I also saw no sign of President Trump. I saw no sign of leadership in Washington, D.C. But the vultures that I had seen were now like gargoyles, and they were 10 feet off the ground, 10 to 15 feet off the ground. And they were just attacking people mercilessly. I saw people hiding in their homes and garages. I saw churches being burned. I saw homes being burned. I saw absolute chaos. And the fist punch on the November of 2020 is what got my attention. And then I heard the words again, brace yourself, brace yourself, brace yourself. This is the first time I have seen actual heavenly signs lining up so accurately with events that the enemy is pointing to. And I'm simply pointing these out to you as a possibility. I'm not saying this will surely happen. Although I feel pretty certain that this is the time we have so long been waiting for. As always, I do not know if anything will happen on these dates. I know that our enemy has used predictive programming in the past to warn the masses of his actions, with most not giving it any thought or paying any attention. Given the connections between what we are shown in these images and how they relate to the plan to bring the Antichrist into the open as described to us by Albert Pike as far back as in 1871, I would say that given the perfectly matching heavenly signs marking specific dates, shown to us in our enemy's plan, this would certainly seem to be something to keep an eye on as these dates approach us. Something big and unexpected is going to hit the world and will catch most of the world by surprise, but not those whose lights are burning, who are awake and who are not fooled by the enemy. If we see signs of a war brewing or some terrorist attack occurring between November 18th 
and November 22nd. Then November 22nd and 23rd could very well be the dates on which we could expect our bridegroom to return for his bride, and where we will be transformed and caught up to meet him in the air. The world that will be thrown into severe turmoil after such an event will react and overthrow the governments responsible for this destruction. But this will also be used as a conduit to introduce the world to their counterfeit saviour, that will step in, showing the world through miracles and wonders that he is deserving of worship. By December 4th, the new world order may be in place under the rulership of the Antichrist, who will then be given 1,260 days to continue to mark as many people as would submit with Satan's mark in their bodies. It fills me with hope to know that we may be so close, because if we have to wait for another year, I believe it will be too much for many of God's children, who have been faithful to Him and who are expecting Him, to catch them away before the tribulation. The month of November certainly looks like it may be indeed the last call for God's people to make themselves ready, and that all warnings that were scheduled to be given to the world will now come to an end. Once again I am simply sharing what our Heavenly Father is showing me, and remember, God's Word tells us that we only see through a glass darkly. If we stop searching and stop watching, then the enemy will certainly catch us off guard. I have seen over the past two years how many of my brothers and sisters in Christ have stepped into the enemy's trap, and how they have become like Lot's wife loving their lives in this world more than they love the Lord. But our Heavenly Father, in His great mercy and love for the world, has also shown me His plan for those that were caught in the enemy's snare, just as Eve were caught in the enemy's deception, and that when they realize that they were deceived by the enemy, that they can still have hope in the love of our Heavenly Father, who always has a plan to overthrow the enemy's tables that he sets up in God's temple. Please watch some of the earlier videos I posted on this subject if you have not seen them yet. With all of these heavenly signs aligning so accurately with our enemy's predictive programming, I am certainly very hopeful of a November escape, and I hope this information will also inspire you to persevere if you find yourself in what would seem to be a hopeless situation with no end in sight. That end may be much closer than we realize, and it will also be extremely glorious. May our Heavenly Father bless you as we look forward to that wonderful day on which we will be united forever with Him and His Son, who paid the ultimate price to set us free from sin and the associated judgment, and to make us fellow heirs with Jesus Christ in the heavenly kingdom that will soon replace these evil worldly kingdoms. The Bible says that if you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, you will receive salvation. Have you believed in your heart and confessed with your mouth that Jesus is the Son of God? Have you placed all of your trust in Him to save you from your sins? Jesus shed His precious blood on the cross to set you free from sin, and your sins being washed away and you becoming a fellow heir with Christ as a son or daughter of God is a free gift to anyone who will accept. The only way in which you can obtain this gift is through faith. You cannot earn it, and you cannot pay God back for it once you have it. Would you not accept His gift of eternal life to you today, while there is still time to do so? Do not trust in your own works to save you, even if those works are the works that you do under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Jesus will receive all the glory for every person that He saved, and we can only offer Him our gratitude and worship.